that is qualitatively similar to nitrous oxide for anyone that has tried that, aka laughing gas, widely used as a pediatric dental anesthetic. Um, and it's a bit stronger than nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is not quite capable of inducing general anesthesia, especially when co-administered with oxygen, which you have to do, mm -hmm. uh, where xenon is. So it can, it can cause a total loss of consciousness in somebody that is inhaling it. And by the standards of most anesthesiologists that I interviewed, it's basically the perfect anesthetic. Because of its lack of reactivity, it produces no metabolites. Hmm. Um, it can be recycled. It doesn't produce any known toxic interactions with the body, which nitrous oxide does, something that's a bit of a tangent, but I'm happy to go into it if you want to discuss it. And... Um, and uh, and the major drawback is that this is a trace component of our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And so in order to collect xenon for medical use, you have to distill millions or billions of liters of air to a liquid. And then you have to do cryogenic fractional distillation of that liquid air in order to isolate this trace xenon component, which can then be uh, transferred into tanks and delivered to, you know, anesthesiologists or in the case of is, my episode. Uh, is that actually how they get it? They harvest it from air? That's the only way to get it. Yeah. Wow. So it must be incredibly expensive. Extremely. I mean, uh, 50 liters is maybe $1,500. So yeah, it's really, really expensive. So what did it feel like? It feels like, um, it feels, I would say, like flipping a switch of euphoria in your brain, like maximum euphoria. Like you, when you when you inhale this stuff, you enter a state of transcendent hyper euphoria that is um, totally obliterating. And at least for me, had a kind of strong sci-fi character. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, like I was so, like consumed with these ideas about stellar nucleosynthesis and the merging neutron stars. And, you know, of course we know that everything around us comes from stars, but there's something about Xenon that really made me think like, wow, this is mm -hmm. from merging neutron stars. And now it sounds like, like the name of an alien planet or something, Xenon. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> uh, I believe it's Greek for strange as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, there's something, and it, you know, it's, it's very, 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 uh, dense it's so yeah it is greek for strange and it and it's it's so dense that you can pour it like even though it's a gas you can pour it like a liquid into a container and you can float a foil boat on it mm. um and it has the opposite effect of helium where helium because it is lighter than air causes your voice to become high pitched xenon causes your voice to become very deep and low 